Right, I'm going to have one more wander over here before I go. One more wander. <sighs> we go home. The video I did the other day didn't come out. I did others, but I forgot to press the record button. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Right, well, I've been for a massive walk all the way around today. And uh, I'm just coming back up. I, I, I don't know if I will come back. Sometimes I don't. Or it could be in 10 years time when I'm old. Really old. And uh, I, I've been, I've walked all sort of round, all the way round, round and round. I've enjoyed it. I do get a bit anxious when I think I'm lost. That's the only thing. I just come up here to fill the air, basically, Richard, and all the men that died on both sides. Twelfth cousin, sixteen times removed. People can believe it or not. been all round, right across those fields there, to Sutton Chinney, um, all the way, following a road all the way down, 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 all the way to Market Bosworth, across fields, I went round the park, um, yeah, right the way over there I was, right the way over there on the hill. Right close to the church on the hill. I came up here the other day and I didn't have the video turned on. Thomas Lord Stanley, who, t who turned on Richard, I think. I do get a bit muddled up. I'm supposed to have been his friend. And they're all remembered though. John Savage, Gilbert Talbot, Henry Tudor, Earl of Richmond. Yes, a much better day than I mean just had loads and loads of rain. Cannons blasting, their shots snatching men from the ranks, storms of arrows finding their prey, the surge of men towards their enemy, the ring of steel on steel and the dull thud of steel on bone. Spurs rake back in a desperate charge, with victory in sight, treachery is unleashed, a king falls. Early in the morning, men prepare their souls and their equipment for the forthcoming battle. Sounds of stone on blades and... Murmured Latin prayers are soon drowned out by the din of the drums, calling the men to muster. On the 22nd of August 1485, over a thousand men lost their lives on the Bosworth Field. This monument comm commemorates them and the many thousands who were killed during the Wars of the Roses. Because this just commemorates one battle. Don't forget. The last of the Plantagenet kings slung naked across a horse, a victor leads his tired army to Leicester and a day's deeds are recounted. The dead king's body is viewed by the masses before the grey friars put him to rest. Right, this is the end of my short visit, Richard III. And, um... I've really enjoyed myself. I've heard about this battle most of my life. And I've, I've, and the Wars of the Roses. We, we've told about them when we were children. And now I've come. And I'm going in a minute, Richard III. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm going in a minute. Shakespeare didn't do you an injustice, by the way. He depicted the times, the brutal times, when men killed man. Men killed men. Men killed their brothers, their sons, their nephews. Women were probably got rid of as well. But not on the battlefield. Right over there, Richard, I stayed at Market Bosworth. And I walked right the way over there today, trying to get the feeling of the fields. St. James's. No, St. Peter's. I think that is. St. James's is, is at Sutton Chinney. I've had a massive walk to get the feeling. Somebody's coming now, so I'm going to say goodbye. I've got to go up the motorway. Back to Somerset. And here's a window. This is part of the battlefield, everyone. This illustration is reconstruction of the landscape as it may have looked from this point of view in 1485, with a suggestion where the armies may have been at the start of the battle. They could have all been camped here, I would have thought. Albion Hill. Here am I. Yeah, I never got to the marsh, I'm afraid. I never got around to doing it all. Um, but I've got some good video footage and some good pictures. I'm now going to wander back round now. A nice peaceful walk. Calm and peace. A horse, a horse, and a kingdom for a horse. I've got to breathe in the air. I don't know if <sighs> I've got so many places to visit and I don't really know if I I might come back I might come back another time because there's lots to do I haven't been able to do it all I didn't go to the marshes where they think you fell um, no because I didn't want to take Alberta out um, I used a bus service to get to Leicester, and I did quite a lot in Leicester. Um, I was there from half eight in the morning till half four in the afternoon. And today I was up at half past six. I was here by half past eight and nine o'clock here.
That's, that's what Bowie said. In loving memory of Gail Angel, Angela Oldfield, 1952 to 2015. Loved and cherished by all who knew her. God, she's the same age as me. There's the exhibition and the various things about Richard III and the battle in there, the centre. The shop, I've spent a lot of money on. I've spent about £60 on souvenirs, but it's worth it. That is not an awful thing. I really enjoyed today. I know I got a little bit anxious when I feel I'm lost. God, there's loads of people coming. I'm glad I've ended this now. There's like two coach loads of kids. My goodness. Right, let's go. Turn off.